Welcome to yesterday's NBA news from the 15th of July. We had two deals, crazy, crazy times, some rumors, but uh, nothing crazy, more recycled news anyway. And Team USA played some Summer League watch and that's it. <laughs> anyway, the deals that were signed is Seth Curry is returning to the Charlotte Hornets on a one year deal, probably a better than minimum, which means around 3 million, but I wasn't sure. And so I put it like that, Seth Curry is returning to the Hornets, could be a good presence, a good shooter right for that team. Uh, he played with them late last season, obviously in his hometown. So yeah, I mean, it's not a major deal anyway, right? But it's it's a deal. And then we had campaign signing a one year $3 million deal, which is the minimum I'm pretty sure with the Knicks, uh, who he had a pretty good playoff run last season against, right? He was very annoying in that Knicks uh, Sixers series for the Knicks, I would say. But uh, as a backup, as a backup backup hey that's a good 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 bad good batman for the next even though i don't know if i like campaign as a presence uh, but that's me right i don't know how it will look otherwise anyway um uh, yeah then we head into some rumors some news as the nuggets reportedly considered trading michael porter jr for paul for paul george would have been an intriguing uh obviously signing apparently they were skeptical to do it also because of the cba because the nuggets apparently with uh, having the best player in the world can't pay a little more money so hey man that, that's what you get when you have these uh, i prefer not to speak about anything like uh, the money that is around and around these billionaires that own so many of these teams um but what can you do at the end of the day that's what the society society okay that sounded edge lordy but that, that's how just it worked at the end of the day right now and uh, until somebody changes uh, changes that for the rich and for the billionaires out there and shit, she's not gonna change uh but that's beyond the basketball that i should not talk about so that would have been an intriguing uh, trade obviously michael portu jr for, for paul george uh would have made the nuggets better no doubt about it but hmm, i don't know man I, I would have maybe gone for it but apparently the nuggets are content with uh one title right and hey maybe Jokic can carry us to another one <laughs> so there's that obviously they had a good chance this year but they just couldn't capitalize on it and you know teams were a little more hungry than them so there's that uh skip bayless is done with fs1 he's apparently ending uh you know there maybe he got fired maybe whatever the show was horrible and it was a plague for a, a lot of a lot of years so we'll see what happens to skip but it i just wanted to put that in here because it, it's crazy right he, he a one funny dude and hey the commitment to the hating is incredible so at least i can give him props for that <laughs> but it will be maybe better off for everyone if um, all these shows die down a little bit uh, but apparently right Stephen a smith wants some max deal like five year five years 125 million man just let him go to fox news man Stephen a smith is is the worst of the two in my opinion like both are bad you know in their own way but Stephen a is worse in my honest opinion at least right now obviously skip was worse earlier at the end of the day so that is that and both have their very bad aspects uh, anyway that's beyond the point michael bridges is expected to take a pay cut with the knicks uh to be with the knicks uh, expected to follow uh, Jalen Brunson's lead, which is nice, and obviously that will, that will do wonders uh, for the Knicks as a franchise that is looking to finally get that championship after a huge, huge, huge long time. Huge, huge, huge long time. That doesn't make sense, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know, when was the last time the Knicks actually won the title? I had to be in this... Shit, I don't know my history, I guess. Uh, obviously they were in the finals in the 90s. I guess in the 70s? Was it in the 70s? I, I guess so, right? In the 80s, that's that's now? So I guess it was in the 70s or in the 60s. God damn. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, Utah wants Pochemski and Kuminga, but uh, Pochemski seems to be the guy who they really want uh, for Malori Markanen. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I would just do it, man. I don't know. I, I just don't want to deal with Utah. That, that's all I'm going to say. I just don't want to deal with Utah. I, I hate everything about Utah. And even though Laurie would be obviously a great fit, I, I'm just uh, I'm just over it a bit, honestly. Uh, I'm just over it. I, I honestly am. 
uh, I don't know if I would send either of these guys right now to Utah just because. Just because fuck Utah. Uh, and I like both of them, so... I don't know. It's a tough spot to be in anyway, but... Uh, I'm willing to roll the dice with what the Warriors have, even though it might not be pretty. Maybe we could get Cooper Flag. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, anyway, Brony uh, won Call of Duty Tournament and Summer League. Shout out to him. Uh, great feat for him, get, get some extra money. He probably doesn't need it, but at least it was a fun story. Anyway, uh, Killian Hayes apparently worked out in Las Vegas. The Nets were in attendance, which, I mean, on brand for the Nets to be in front of embarrassment. Okay, I'm sorry, Killian. Hopefully Killian Hayes can find his way eventually one day, but yeah, Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes, that is that. <laughs> and obviously now we head into the games. Team USA beats Australia 98-92. to Joel Embiid continues to still look awful and a bad fit with this uh, rendition of the USA team, which is funny, right? I would bench him. Uh, but uh, Steve Kerr will be sticking with him and he'll, he keeps getting better and better. Still no Kevin Durant, which obviously is also tough because he'll probably be starting. So I would say the eventual lineup should be uh, Steph, uh, Anthony Edwards, AD LeBron and AD, honestly, if we were talking about fits. Um, maybe you could go bigger with Embiid in there instead of and or staff but that would be very weird for spacing so uh but maybe that that would be nice for the fiba game so who knows right anyway uh anthony davis really impressed he looks like the better of his starting devin booker had himself a solid game but uh not an impressive start to preseason for uh, or pre pre-olympics for the team usa and steve carman steve Kerr is catching straights maybe maybe his style is outdated who knows what if what if it is right you never know, man. Things move quickly. Anyway, Summer League watch. Quaida. Nemias Quaida impresses for the Celtics. He had 22, 8 and 3 blocks. On like 7 of 10 shooting. Really good game for him as the Celtics beat the Lakers. Uh, Shearman, their first round pick, didn't have a good game. Which I'm sad because I picked him on real. So that makes me a little sad, but it is what it is. Uh, Dalton Necht for the Lakers had 19 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists with 3 steals, 1 block. On 7 of 21 shooting from the field. Uh, the shooting doesn't concern me. Like like that he puts the shorts up. Doesn't matter to me anyway. Uh, or doesn't matter in a way because you just can't take Summer League that seriously. But the next guy we are talking about, right? Brony. Brony James. Uh, another bad game for him. He was like 1 of 5, right? And uh, this is just the worst thing that could have happened to him. Uh, Jalen Brown was also seen talking about uh, Brony not belonging in the league or not, not being credit for the league. He's not an NBA player yet or something like that from the lip readers. Which, I mean, just let them have their conversations. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It might have been better for Brony to stay one year at least uh, still in college, but... Mm, We'll see, man. It it depends, right? Hopefully, it's all his decisions and it's all, you know, he, on his term rather than LeBron pulling the strings, which I don't believe he is. I believe he'll he's letting Brony do these decisions for himself. So, yeah, it's just bad for him. But don't take too much into account of Summer League. Uh, we'll see how things pan out eventually, right? He'll probably be in the G League, no doubt about it. But... Uh, it is what it is, man. Uh, it's still impressive that he's been able to even play uh, at a high level when you think about what happened a year ago, right? It was a year ago, pretty much. So, that, yeah. So, hopefully he finds his way. Uh, anyway, Utah, on the other hand, keeps disappointing me with Taylor Hendricks, man. What the hell is going on with Taylor Hendricks? I kept believing, I kept believing, but I, I don't know, man. Even the Summer League is making me more skepti skeptical about him. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't look doesn't look right. Doesn't look right with the NBA game. Didn't look right last season when he got his chances. To me, uh, hasn't been sharp at summer league. Uh, Cody Williams, Kyle Filipovski, and Isaiah Collier have been so much better, right? And that's another. Uh, those are another picks for the Utah Jazz. And I mean, he was their best top pick in the last two years, but uh, but in terms of obviously eighth overall. But yeah, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. So that was really disappointing for me. While uh, Colby Jones emptied the clip, uh, which I, for uh, for whatever reason, had clip. My bad, y'all. 
uh, for the Kings. 25.6 six rebounds with 3 steals and 1 block on 10 of 21 shooting from the field. Real impressive from him. Donovan Klingem impressed defensively. He had 3 blocks and had some really great possessions. Uh, obviously, down the stretch when they beat the Sixers, he also had 8 points, 11 rebounds and 5 assists passing. The passing looked really good. The shooting has not been there in the summer league, but like I keep repeating, it doesn't matter as much. I love Klingen's all-around game. And I, yeah, I mean, Klingen was on a lot of people's radar as like a uh, at least surefire, you know, impact player in the league at the end of the day with uh, the way he plays and with his skill set, obviously, size wise, switch wise, shooting wise, rim protection wise. So Donovan Klingen, really impressive. Just nice on the eye, also, like basketball wise, obviously. Uh, Jared McCain continues to struggle offensively and maybe size wise. 11, 7, and 3 on 3 of 16 shooting from the field. Uh, the shooting, like I keep saying, keep repeating all over, all over again. But it will be intriguing to see how, you know, the size will play a role with him. Uh, he had a training to shoot over bigger players, so uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, then Gigi Jackson doing what he does yet, 23 points, 11 rebounds on 9 of 19 shooting. Ron Holland did not play, which makes me sad because of previous injuries. I was excited to see him play. Uh, and Ray Shepard and Cam Whitmore had an off game on time, so uh, the Pistons still won, uh, which is rough because my Whitmore summer league MVP pick is looking a little tougher. AJ Griffin at least had a good game for the Rockets, 18 and 5, uh, the former Hawk. Uh, while for the OKC Thunder, it was AJ Mitchell, 21 points, two rebounds, five assists with one steal, one block. On 8 of 14, Turing had himself a nice solid game, and Jaime Hakes obviously dominated for the Heat. Uh, Christopher was also great. Uh, Kalalvar had himself some good moments, and that's it from Summer League today from me. We have more WNBA that I'm excited about today. Uh, some fun games and some games that are early on in here with for me or late on, right? But uh, for WNBA standards and for NBA standards, the basketball is on a time that I can watch live. And uh, more Summer League, of course. Hopefully, maybe, maybe we get some other news, highly doubt it, because it's just going to be slow until until probably after the Olympics or uh, until like the August, what is it, 8th or 6th when Lori Markkanen has to sign his extension. So that is that. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Be kind to yourself and to others. And I'll catch you all next time. What? I'll catch you all next time. Just be. <laughs>